Hello. This time on Crash Test Dummy TV. <laughs> Damn it, damn it, damn it. Once again, I shot ahead, did the job, and didn't even think about filming it. All right, I've got this um, metal putty type stuff. It's uh, not metal mend, actually. I've got a different one. This one um, can handle temperatures, which is something I didn't think about. Of course, it's going to get hot. So scratch the... Uh, Sally's uh, metal blah, 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 blah. Sally's metal bend. Ignore that, and go with the one I'm putting on screen now. That's the one you want. Cool. I'll leave it at that. All right. It's just a putty, a brown putty. Um, you've got one minute to knead it, and then eight minutes to, uh, for it to, um, or, you know, for you to mould it and so on. There's nothing else on here I need to do, so, uh, what can I make out of this? I'll make a little bike. Let's see how small a bike I can make. sticky. There you go, there's a bike. <laughs> I was never really good at uh, arts at school. Oh, I'm an abstractionist. Abst abstract. I do abstract just because it's easier. Here we go, one bike. Very abstract bike. Sweet! God, that looks stupid. <laughs> We're going to sit that where it's going to be flat. There will do. Hopefully it won't stick. This is the stuff. Thank you, America. Made in USA. Cool. Yeah, PC fix. reason I got this one is because it's temperature resistant. I believe up to 350 or 350... Um... Yeah, most other ones only go up to about 200. Uh, this one will go from 350 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, do not use temperatures of 500 degrees or higher. So depending on how close to the uh, barrel it is, I suppose, uh, everywhere else on the motor should be fine. This being the block, it should be fine. Should be groovy. I'm going to give it a sand still. Well, I've done a bit of sand, maybe a file. So we've got to smooth it off in a couple of spots. Cool. Well, I won't bore you. I'm going to bugger off. Stop filming. And then pick up later where, uh, when it's dry. Cure time is about 60 minutes. Cool. Cars, factories. You can fix factories with it. You can fix barbecues, you can fix tractors, you can fix barnyards, barn houses, whatever. And you can fix a, a, a tap, you can make it drip. Wow, cool. Mix time one minute, work time eight minutes, cure time 60 minutes. And I believe it's paintable after that. Better be paintable. Oh well, I'm going to paint it anyway. Cool. I'll check in later when it's dry. In three, two... One. A couple little tips when I was doing this, while I'm doing this, I'm still doing it. Um, I've released the uh, the bolt a little bit just to make sure that's not sticking down and so on. I've also cut down the join just to make sure that doesn't stick. And also what I did was uh, loosen it off a little just, you know, just crack the surface as far as... Um, there's a locating uh, ring in here, and I really do not want that to uh, to glue down either. Also, what I did do to start with is I can't find my little paintbrush, but anyway, I got a paintbrush and grease. I didn't use oil; I used grease because it's going to stay there. Oil 
will move and uh, and so forth, but Greece will uh, hold its form a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I uh, painted the locator tab, painted the uh, the bolt, um, and then put them in place, just so I didn't get any contaminants on the surfaces that I'm trying to stick to. So yeah, a couple of tips there. I tried Teflon tape on the bolt, yeah, as I was bolt, uh, screwing it in, it was uh, uh, smearing off and str or stringing, stringing off, and um, I, I didn't feel that was going to work, so uh, that's why in the end I think grease will uh, will be your best bet. If it's a fin or that sort of thing, it, uh, I don't know, you could use uh, tape on one side to, you know, to help join it, that sort of thing. Um, <coughs> what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, it's basically... Oh, think of a Twinkie. That's probably everybody knows a Twinkie worldwide. Cream filled and uh, and some sort of stuff on the outside. Um, it's pretty much what this is. Kind of a Twinkie. Actually, I will show you. You peel the tab off. See what I mean? It's just that. So... Quite easy to use, highly recommend it. I will turn this upside down so it holds its seal better. Long term, because I don't know when I'm next going to use that, so... Anyway, PC Fahrenheit. No, PC whatever it is. I'll stick it on the screen again. Can be a skin irritant. Wash hands with soap and water after use. For sensitive skin, use latex gloves to mix. Keep away from eyes. In case of eye contact, flush eyes with water for 15 minutes and get medical attention. Do not eat. It is not a Twinkie. Okay, I must, I must say, it is not a Twinkie. Uh, call doctor if swallowed. You're an idiot if you did. Do not induce vomiting. No, that's not good. Um, the reason they say don't induce vomiting is because um, vomiting, if you've had a, a big meal or something, you've got some solids in your stomach. Now, this is what I believe is correct. Um, on vomiting, those solids can tear your, um, your esophagus, or not your esophagus, anyway, your, the whole tract, your um, digestive system. Um, and if that happens, the chemical itself can get in your bloodstream, cause uh, septicemia, and you can die. Anyway, apart from dying, uh, wear approved Niosh mask when sanding. Ah, fair enough. Cured epoxy is harmless and safe. Keep away from children and pets. Especially pets. They'll think it's a turd. Cool, PC products. Groovy. We'll see what happens as far as uh, whether it's a really good product. As far as when it's done. Anyway, I'm going to stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. You shouldn't play with it so much. You go blind. Groovy. Speak to you soon. In three, two, one. All right. Now, drum roll. I just did a couple of support bits of uh, tape just to make sure it was pressed up against. I didn't want to bolt it up too hard. So, let's see how we went here. Oh comes out which is a good thing sniffle sniffle all right very gently very gently hey what's holding us on bloody magnet very gently you get the bottom locator out first all right I don't know if you can see that. I'll get a torch. Where's my torch? Hmm, I hope that's pointing in the right spot. Alright, I hope that filmed it. But anyway, I'm happy with that. I shaped it up nicely. I'll still give it a light sand before I uh, spray the block, but... Uh, I'm a happy, I'm a happy chippy. Now it did say it's sandable. Uh, burp for the camera. Sandpaper. Sandpaper. I need sandpaper. 
Need sandpaper. You may have guessed I'm a bit of a tight wad. I try and use up all my little bits that I've used before, before I tear off a new bit. Might as well. At least not want not and all that. Come on, we're wasting valuable footage here. Very lightly, I'm not even really pressing against. Just to get off the excess and then I'll start using a light one. Get that circular motion at me. Actually, I'll get every direction at me. I'm trying to pick the best angle for me and the best angle for you. Just watch. I'm just smoothing off, really. I'm hoping the paint's going to fill the... Uh, fill the rest it's actually quite uh, quite good stuff to work with <laughs> as far as uh, molding think of it as a uh, the, the, the perfect <laughs> the perfect clay to work with not too dry not too wet it's only that poof I wouldn't say sticky I'd say poof ain't tacky on your fingers it certainly fills up your uh, your fingerprints so if you're going to do a bank job maybe get some of this stuff first <laughs> it's really not, not much shaping I have to do here at all as I said it's really good to mould with you got a full eight minutes so as long as you prepare your surface and area and you know well not necessarily your sandpaper and everything but all your stuff you're going to mould with. I used the, uh, the the blade to um, to cut away the excess to get a basic shape, and then I just pushed it into shape. It's worked out very well. I'm happy, like I said. <laughs> all right, my ears wet and dry now. Sniffle. Sniffle for the camera. Maybe I should change it to that instead of burp. Work that shape. I'll show you what result you can get. Because I'm certainly not an expert. This is the very first time I've worked with this stuff, so it proves that anybody can. <laughs> Alright, stop mucking around with it. I wouldn't say it's perfect. But, it's certainly going to do the job. Still bolts in. It's still got thread, which is an advantage. I didn't have to get it tapped or anything. Drumroll Maestro. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It is lovely. Yeah, wrong bolt. A long one, please. Stay in there. Cool. Excellent, excellent. Very happy. All right, thanks for tuning in. But, uh, don't be afraid. Do it yourself. The worst that can happen, <laughs> you learn, and then you get someone else to do it. Someone like me. Come and pay me, I'll do it. Groovy. Excellent. Bye, guys. And girls. See ya. And g'day, a girl. Start again. And g'day all again.